lifesaver for people with kidney disease. Sometimes, however, dialysis patients experience malnutrition, but now a new therapy claims to remedy that problem. And here with the details is our Health Beat reporter, Molly Hennenberg. Well, you know, a new study says steroids taken by injection improve the health of dialysis patients, especially the nutritional health of these patients. So, two questions. How does it work? And how can dialysis patients who don't want to take steroids avoid malnutrition? Here's some answers. Are you keeping your weight under control? Yes, sir. Diabetic Jim Cadden yeah. lost 43 pounds over two right. years right. while he was on dialysis. I lost my desire to eat meat. Any kind. Fish, red meat of any kind. I just don't, don't have the desire to eat it anymore. Malnutrition, muscle loss, and fatigue are three potential side effects of dialysis, according to kidney doctor Jeremiah Egan. Dialysis, although it keeps them alive longer and longer, does not solve all their problems. Here's something you may hear about in the future. A new study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association says anabolic steroids, the same steroids athletes use, may help dialysis patients increase their lean body mass and reduce fatigue. The steroids stimulate the body to grow more muscle mass, which then makes the body want to consume more protein and calories. But Dr. Egan wants to see more research before he recommends steroids for his patients. There's an increased risk of coronary artery disease or a heart attack from taking steroids. That's the biggest downside, I think. Occasionally, you get liver disease. So Dr. Egan tells his patients to eat a low-salt, high-protein, high-calorie, low-fat diet, plus certain vitamin supplements. Calcium, vitamin E, um, there's a, a whole a bunch of vitamins that I take every morning that you just make sure you take them every day to just keep up the strength and keep up the body levels. We have a seat up here on the uh, examining table, okay? As for Jim Cadden, he adopted a healthy diet and stuck to it. He's been off dialysis since December. It wasn't easy for Jim to go on a low-fat diet. He says he loves fatty foods. But he was losing so much weight and so much energy because of dialysis that he finally decided he needed to improve his diet. And Molly, how can other dialysis patients go on a healthy diet that they can stick to? Well, right. There are some general guidelines, like I talked about, low fat, high protein. But each person is different. Your body may respond differently to dialysis than my body, so we would need different nutrients. So the best advice is to work with your doctor to find a diet that is right for you and that you can stick to at home. Okay. Thanks, Molly. Mm -hmm. Supervised trial and error. That's right. With the key on supervision. Exactly. Thanks, Molly. Thank you. Well, we now have